What it do is show Beezy to S-H-O-B-O-A-T. And look, we know Fetty Wap had the rap game in a chokehold back in 2015 and 16, but several miscalculated steps took him down a path that none of us saw coming. So let's get into the details of all this. But first, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next video. So most of us know Fetty Wap from his mega hit song, Trap Queen, that was released back in 2014, but it took off in 2015. That song is now certified diamond with over 10 million sold. He also has several other successful songs, which means he made a ton of money. How much is the most you saw like in your account? You're like, what the? 22. Like 22, like 22 million. Yeah, it wasn't like I, I made $22 million at one time. Nah, that's not how it happened. I accumulated that much money. You know what I'm saying? How much like is the that? most you ever got for one show? Like 375. Had to be like some Dubai shit. No, oh, United States. Dubai was more. Now, from 2015 till now, he's made a lot of poor decisions, including financing other people's lives and reckless spending to the point where he was paying $150,000 a month just in bills to maintain his lifestyle. I was doing like $150,000 a month in bills. It was jewelry and like apartments. I had a lot of fucking apartments. Why? Like, I didn't like staying in hotels. I know for a fact I was clearing 100000 every day. The day I woke up and I only made like 40000 I'm like, uh-uh, some shit ain't right. But nothing was more disastrous as October 28th, 2021. That was the day he was arrested at City Field in New York City before he could get on stage to perform at Rolling Loud. Fetty was indicted along with five other people on RICO charges of conspiring to distribute and possess controlled substances. The investigation showed that between June of 2019 and June of 2020, the crew purchased illegal narcotics on the West Coast. They then used the United States Postal Service and drivers with hidden vehicle compartments to transport them back east, then distributed and sold more than 100 kilos of heroin, cocaine, crack, and fentanyl in New York's Long Island and New Jersey. Now, this investigation sounds crazy because they really got caught red-handed. With the arrests and raids, the FBI recovered $1.5 million cash, 16 kilos of cocaine, two kilos of heroin, fentanyl pills, listen to this arsenal, two nine millimeter pistols, a rifle, a 45 caliber pistol, a 40 caliber pistol, and ammunition. So five of the defendants also received firearm charges. And if you know anything about New York City, they are not gun friendly. So just those firearm charges alone can get you locked up for years, especially if you're already a felon. Now, Fetty was released on bond a week after his arrest and even released new music like his single Sweet Yams that got a lot of attention. But he was arrested again in August of 2022 for violating his pretrial release after being caught threatening to take a man's life and waving a gun on a FaceTime call. Later that month, he pled guilty to the drug conspiracy charges. Now let's fast forward to 2023, because since the announcement of his original arrest, a lot of people have asked, how the hell did Fetty Wap get wrapped up in drug dealing after having so much success musically? Well, I dug and I dug and I found out for you guys. So on May 17th, his lawyer submitted a statement to the judge explaining just that. His lawyer was hoping that if she explained what was going on in Fetty's life, that it might get him a lighter sentence because the max sentence for all of these crimes is life in jail. So just for a heads up, Fetty Wap's government name is Willie Maxwell, and you'll hear that name in this statement. This is what the lawyer said. In or about 2020, with the coming of the worldwide pandemic, things began to change for Mr. Maxwell. There were no opportunities to perform, thus his income was severely limited. He was sued personally, was going through a divorce, and was involved with a tour manager who was stealing money from him. While the bills kept coming in, the money to pay them was running out. At or about this time, Mr. Maxwell lost his grandparents and several other people who were close to him. Depression and panic began to set in. As stated, Mr. Maxwell took enormous pride in his ability to provide for his children and lend support to his other family members. He is described as a people pleaser and a person who gains great satisfaction from taking care of others. Suddenly, it felt like life was going in reverse 
and he became ashamed when he began to struggle to keep up the lifestyle that he had created for so many. His judgment became impaired, desperate to keep up with his financial obligations, Mr. Maxwell became involved in the instant offense for a few months in the spring of 2020. Now this may all be true, but Fetty Wap brought these tough financial times on himself because he was just blowing through money. Fetty's lawyer was pushing to get him the minimum sentence, which was five years. The prosecutor, on the other hand, was asking the judge to sentence him to nine years in prison because his crimes earned him the label of a large-scale narcotics trafficker. Ultimately, on May 24th of 2023, the judge sentenced him to six years behind bars. And when he gets out, he'll be on supervised release for another five years. And this is the kicker because this is not any type of regular parole or probation. Court documents show that he will have to fully disclose his financial records as well as his yearly income tax returns to the U.S. Probation Department. He will also have to submit his DNA to officials. And listen to this. He won't even be able to open any new financial accounts without getting prior approval from the government. The conditions also state that he'll have to submit basically everything he owns so that the feds can search whenever there's a reasonable suspicion that he might be violating any terms of his supervised release. Man, what? Look, I know this is a lot to unpack, but what do you think? Was all this avoidable or was Fetty just doing what he had to do? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. As always, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Show be easy. I'm out.